Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel Registration Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So this will be the last video of this tutorial series. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to need throughout the whole tutorial series and then we'll fix a few things here and there. So this is the front end of our website. So we are just showing some random full data one here and after that here you can see book a table. We are letting the user book a table online and in order to book a table the user do not need to log in. Let me just show you. We just need to give a random number here, phone number. Then we need to mention the number of guests. Let's say it will be 05. Then we can uh, mention the time here. Then we can mention the date here as well. After that, if we just click on book table, it will add those data to the book table. But if you want to buy a food from here then the user needs to be logged in for example there is no user is logged in right now if we now click on add to cart it will send the user back to the login page so let me just log in as a user let me say here test at the top gmail.com and we we'll give the password then click on login and it will take the user back to the home page so right now the user will be able to buy the food from here let's say the user want to buy pizza from here let's say you want to buy four pizzas so we say here four then click on add to cart and that food will be added to the cart and here you can see if we now click on cart option it will show us the food in the cart and those food is right now in the cart and if the user want to confirm their order then they can just give their name email phone number address then click on confirm order and the order will be placed so right now if the user go to the admin dashboard the admin will be able to see all the orders so let me just log in as an admin and click on login and here you can see the number of user is 2 total for 3 total order 7 and total delivery is 2 if you now go to our food and click on add food, the user, I mean the admin can add any food from here. Let me say here, noodles and food details will be, uh, let's say chicken, chicken noodles. The price will be, let's say $30 and let's give an image here. The image will be this on, you click on open, then click on add food and the food will be added. If we now go to our view food, then you can see we have the noodles image over here with the details. The admin can delete or update the food details as well. And in the give the admin click on orders, the admin can see all the orders over here. Admin can uh, change the status of the order, for example. This is the order, so admin can click here on the way, then click on OK. And the food status will change to on the way. And if the admin click on deliver, then click on OK. Then you can see the food is delivered. Admin can also cancel the order if they want. And here you can see reservation. Admin can see the reservation uh, for the table made by the user as well. So right now we are just going to make some design changes in this last video. So here you can see we have those options and those options is not necessary. So we can just remove this. So for it, let me just go to the Visual Studio 4. Then I'll go to our resource, then use, then the admin folder. In the admin folder, uh, here you can see header.blade.php. So what we're going to do is that we're going to remove those from here, this search option and this English uh, language over here all those things for it let me just go at the top of the data section and here you can see the search option then uh here you can see it says dark admin okay we we'll keep that and let me just put towel and here you can see deep class content so i'll remove this from here also this one then i think this total div is not necessary so i'm just going to remove it up until this part so let me just save it and let me just refresh here 
and there you can see it will look like this. I think that design looks good right now and this is a simple Laravel project so I think this is enough. So right now if I click on logout it will take us over here and here you can see block. If we click on block it will take us to the food section. So instead of block we are going to say here food. For it let's go back and we'll go to our views then whole folder. In the whole folder we have data.red.php and over here Stop draw. We are going to say here full. Save it. Then refresh. I can see it says food right now. And how to tell is that if we click on food heart over here, it will send us back to the root field. Okay. Uh, over here, this is the logo. So for it, what I'm going to do is, uh, let me go at the top. And there you can see it says food heart. And here you can see href. So, so instead of href, we're going to say here to second bracket. Then we we'll say URL to first bracket. Then to single position, it will be just a slash. If we now save it, then refresh here and click on food heart it will keep the user back to the cell view and let me just log in uh, to the user then give the password click on login and if we now click on car it will take us to this page if we click here it will keep the user still on the card twist so what I'm going to do is that for this card uh, base we are going to mention that this url here so let me just copy this then i'll go to the home then mycard.blade.php let me just go at the top and here you can see we have the footer option here so in the h step we are going to mention this save it then refresh here if you click on it, it will take us to the home base. So yeah, this is all for this tutorial series. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.